What's going on guys, Kazi here and welcome to Cause and Effect and welcome to a random Photoshop video. It's been a while since we've done one of these here. So I thought we'd launch a bit of a series where I kind of make mythical beasts from specific countries where we're gonna combine the iconic animals in this situation from Canada and try to create some kind of crazy beast. So uh, this is actually pre-Photoshopped. I'm recording on top of the fast forwarded job just so it's, you know, a little bit more smooth, not awkward and it's just a better quality video. So that would be you guys enjoy this video if you enjoy what the product turns out to be hit that like button hit that subscribe button because obviously that's the important part i love making these crazy monsters but uh of course you know i like uh, having you guys watch and comment down below let's uh kind of focus on this here at this point we thought we would just use the beautiful polar bear uh, as the base i don't know if we caught it at the beginning there we had the beaver the arctic fox the moose of course this polar bear and the evil evil canadian goose so i tried fixing the feet here it didn't really uh go according to plan but uh we'll make it we'll make it up as we go as i said choppity chop the feet work was kind of random for no reason i don't know why i did that um but uh i thought i could make it look more natural but uh i don't know it didn't end up being what i wanted it to be so this is where things actually got a little tricky. You would think that using this Arctic Fox would probably be the way to go. You know, it's white, it's gonna be an easy thing, uh, but I'm not a master at Photoshop, so this took me a little bit of time to figure out, and I think I butchered it pretty well, but uh, I was pretty committed. You'll kind of watch my struggle here. I literally tried everything. I had to learn new blending techniques, and. I don't really do the whole Google thing if I get super frustrated, maybe, but uh, in this particular situation, I was just struggling through. <laughs> I was just struggling through. I was trying to make it work, and uh, this was just bloody murder. You can see, I, I'm getting frustrated, as you can clearly see. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm like, okay, uh, try this, try all the colors. All right, you, this is where I pause. I'm frustrated, clearly, but a stroke of genius. Yes, there it is. We figured it out. This is what we're going to do. We're going to try some new tools. Uh, no, not quite. Uh, <laughs> this was kind of the breakthrough. I tried erasing the polar bear's face, but then I realized, why don't I just use this to blend the face in a little bit better? So that's ultimately what I ended up doing, uh, blending the face in a little bit better. I tried changing the color a little bit, but uh, this is my first time using this tool. So uh, I think it turned out pretty good. We got it. All right. I still wasn't satisfied apparently, so I farted around with it, but uh, yeah, that looks good enough to me. So obviously, we're going to use the tail from the beaver. If we're going to use any part of the beaver, it's going to be the tail. I don't know how we would fit the teeth onto this fox's face after the struggles we went through. So of course, we're just going to go straight to the tail, try to shave it off. It was a simple shave. It was probably the easiest addition to this entire, you know, piece of art that we're working on. So we have that, all right. We're trying to change the color, match it up a little bit. And there we go, voila. Now it's time to move on to the moose. Of course, we're gonna use the iconic antlers. This was a nice uh, trim job. I'm kind of proud of the way I cropped these out. I think that that worked out really well. I cleaned it up, they looked fresh. I was able to kind of line it up before I did the job too. So this is a little tedious, but it ended up looking really good and being worth it. So this was tricky. Again, I'm not very good with the macro. So zooming in, zooming out moving around the screen, not not very good there, but I am starting to get a little smooth, getting a little smooth. I'm not sure what kind of other animals I'm gonna combine in the future, but if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. So we've got these antlers, they fit pretty good, and I like this because it almost literally fits right on his head. We could have made a Franken monster with a half side of the face of a moose, a moose face, a moosenstein, just a monster of pure evil. But we all know the most evil creature is not even on this beast that we're making yet. We haven't even gotten there yet. So there we go. Like I said, it's pretty touchy work getting these antlers on there. Ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. And a nice long carve up. There we go. Cut the antler out. There, we got it on. I think I shrunk it and changed the color a little bit on here. No, did I change the color? No, I did do a little bit of uh, beveling that I ended up changing and some lighting that I changed on the way. So before you uh, start uh, raging on me that, oh, that looks terrible, wait until you see the finished product. So now, of course, we get to the evil the evil evil goose i'm about halfway through the wing here look at that zip 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 this one i was trying to get through a little faster i took the technique from the moose antler and just kind of refined it a little bit i don't know i think it looks pretty good nice little touch boom wing off there we go throw it on i was thinking shoulder mount I, when i really got into this i had no idea what direction i was going for and as soon as i saw these wings i was like boom hippogriff of some kind it's some kind of griffin of the north some kind of arctic griffin of death i don't know maybe it flies around headbutting cars and 
I don't know, building dams. I have no idea what this creature is gonna do. If you guys have any ideas, you know, let me know. We can maybe build up some kind of lore about this creature. All right, so the wings, I tried darkening up just a little bit, but uh, didn't really, uh, it's, it's tricky with the wings and I kind of tweak as I go. Just to, you know, some things don't look the way I really want it to. Now, this is where, again, you, you see the progress. I got a lot better with the blending here. The fur looks a lot better going into that. I kind of blended that in a little bit. That looks a lot nicer than the blending that I did with that stupid arctic fox's face but it's okay we won't pay attention to that we'll just keep going on looking at the the other great blending that we've done all right perfect so bad issue all right tim horton's parking lot there we go we got to set the scene now we've got our creature pretty well complete so let's just let's get it going we need a picture of a tim horton's i don't know why it took me so long to find a picture of a tim's i mean they're everywhere and ba boom save that boom put it there come on what, what's the matter with me just bring it in there there we are Shkaboom, shkaboom. I clearly had some issues with that there, but that's okay. All right, so we set up our polar bear. There's his size for, for scale. He's by the Tim Hortons. We'll grab him a coffee. Now this is a quite a large coffee. Let's, the coffee's not the scale. Bear is definitely to scale to this Tim Hortons. All right, so we gave him a double-double, you know, because he is a Canadian beast. You know, we gotta get get that going on. I guess he's probably there for the paninis that they got going on on that window there. They look pretty good as I'm narrating this. The, I'm getting a little hungry actually. All right, so of course we couldn't have him just have a coffee. He's gotta have a snack too. He's, he needs two bagels. He's gotta eat up, get himself some BLTs going. All right, and I ended up hiding his ugly paws because whatever. And we'll add a little Fred for this dude. And really, we gotta give him a coffee as well. Let's hook a brother up. Maybe he doesn't drink a double double. He does the old. Uh, regular with milk like me me and the raccoon just one milk and one sugar that's all we need all right do a little beveling do a little color brighten him up so he looks nicer okay and i think the last thing that we can really do to make this truly canadian of course we've got to add mr trudeau now <laughs> At the time of the release of this video, there's a lot of controversy surrounding him, and I won't address that. But look at that, there he goes, he's on the roof, he's like, oh hey, you're in Canada, what's up mythical beast? Welcome to Tim Hortons. I think this turned out pretty good actually, if you ask me. Honestly guys, that turned out a lot better than I expected it to. Uh, as I was making it, I really had no idea the direction. Uh, if you watch some of my past Photoshop videos, you'll kind of get what I mean when I say no direction. I kind of just make it up as I go, sometimes I even swap out the animals but the important thing about this video is if you guys have any suggestions for another country or another beast or any combinations of beasts that i can make i drop those down in the comments down below if you've got a cool name for this creature oh my goodness we didn't even name it what is this thing going to be called oh man it <laughs> I don't know, it's like uh, the Great Polar, the Arctic Spirit. I don't even know what you would call it. This thing's the spirit of the North, as far as I'm concerned. So maybe that could be its like mythical, mythical name, but it needs a scientific name. Maybe you guys can help me down in the comments below as well. Give me suggestions for things you want me to Photoshop. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button if you want to see a whole lot more. And until next Friday, guys, I'm Martin, AKA Kazi, and thanks for tuning in. Peace out.